Hi, this is Angelo. I have here our new Maris Mercury 7 Reverb. I'll be going over an in-depth feature review and a review of its sounds. I have two already loaded in the rack behind me. We put a lot of love into this, and I can't wait for you to hear it. The Mercury 7 Reverb was designed to be both an extension of your performance and a sound design instrument meant to be played. From swirling dark textures to uplifting ethereal soundscapes, the wide-ranging Mercury 7 is designed to be different. As the first algorithmic reverb for the 500 series format, the Mercury 7 frees up valuable resources from your DAW and offers the immediacy and inspiration that goes along with dedicated knobs. The Mercury 7 offers a full array of direct access controls, along with second layer controls like pre-delay and diffusion. In this demo, I'll be using two Mercury 7s for a wide stereo image. By using our stereo linking cable, you can sync the controls of two Mercury 7s so the second one in the chain will have the same settings as the first. I'll be using a 440 to record my acoustic guitar and my Telecaster. The Mercury 7 has two unique reverb algorithms. The Ultra Plate expands upon the quick reflection buildup and clean response of a traditional plate by adding a broad range of plate sizes and an inventive modulation engine. The Cathedra allows you to remold and reshape the barriers of a traditional cathedral algorithm to produce deeply ethereal soundscapes with gradual buildup of reflections. With the switch and LED disengaged, the ultra plate is selected. With the switch and LED engaged, the cathedra is selected. Here's a quick demo of both. I've been designing commercially available reverbs for over a decade. When designing the Mercury 7, I took the time to build on that experience and explore some new ideas I had. One of those was an extensive modulation matrix, which morphs the dimensions of the algorithm in a unique way. Using the modulate control, you can set the overall modulation depth. And by holding Alt, you can adjust the overall speed of the modulation network as well. The Mercury 7 takes some of its inspiration from the classic reverb which was featured on the Blade Runner soundtrack. Like that reverb, the Mercury 7 has interactive controls that work together to set the overall time of the reverb decay. Use the Space Decay control to set the overall reverb time. And then use the High and Low Frequency controls to set how fast the high and low frequencies independently decay. For a more natural room response, try dialing back the high frequencies. To change the way the reflections meld and interact with the dry track, try dialing back the low frequencies. The Mercury 7 also features a novel pitch shifting module inside the reverb tank that gives you the freedom to dial in a wide range of pitch effects. The Mercury 7 allows you to precisely control how the pitch shifting evolves by the interaction of the pitch factor control, the second layer pitch mix control, and the complement of decay controls. Here are quick demos of each interval.
The Mercury 7 is also equipped with a swell effect for creating dreamy washes of sound. This effect is great for volume pedal-like swells and slows down the attack of instruments like guitar or percussion. The swell switch activates the effect and the swell time is offered as a second layer control. For this demo, I'll be switching to my Telecaster through a clean half stack. The Mercury 7 also features a specially tuned vibrato effect that comes before the reverb. The vibrato adds a sweet swirl to your sound for added dimension. You can adjust the vibrato using its second layer control. The mix control sets the balance between the reverb and your dry signal. In the Mercury 7, the wet and dry signals are mixed in analog, providing both better signal to noise ratio and zero latency for the dry signal. We can't wait for you to add the Mercury 7 to your 500 series rack. There simply isn't a better way to give your tracks expansive, otherworldly dimension and bring you the inspiration of working with an instrument that was meant to be played.